Hi, this is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot here to do another weekend reading for the sign of Leo. <clears throat> Just keep in mind this is a general reading, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This would be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Leo. Okay, so let's jump into this reading and see what Spirit has to say to you guys this week. So we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So some of you that were feeling confused or believe that you had options, it seems like you don't. Whatever confusion was happening has now stopped. Mm -hmm. You felt like some sneakiness was happening between you and your partner. It could be you, it could be your partner. Somebody felt that somebody was sneaking around. Somebody was being receptive, somebody was lying, that sort of thing. But we have two sevens there, so there seems to be some healing coming. Okay, so somebody wanted to walk away. We have the Eight of Cups. Somebody is thinking that there is a lot of confusion, somebody is being sneaky, and somebody is ready to walk away, to walk towards another place another person walk to the nine of cups to have their wishes fulfilled because for some of you this person is not fulfilling your wishes yep <clears throat> and you're tired of waiting for change in this situation you're tired of waiting on this person to admit what they are doing or for you to admit to them that there is no sneakiness happening uh, could be a Pisces you're dealing with or this person has you feeling frustrated you're not trusting your intuition when it comes to this person and you believe to yourself that this person could be sneaking around on you although the cards are saying no that is not happening I think that is what you genuinely feel Leo You're at a crossroad. You're not sure if you want to go or if you want to stay. Because the Two of Wands is clarifying the Eight of Cups. You're not sure. Because you're not seeing any sign that this person is being sneaky or lying or deceptive. But you are still believing to yourself that this is happening. You're just not seeing it. Yep. You're not ready to make an offer to this person just yet. But you're not willing to move on from this situation and you are trying to find the strength to discern if it's to go or if it's to stay. And you're doing some self-reflection and you're wondering if it's to take a leap of faith. Could be an Aries you're dealing with, you could have Aries in your chart, uh, could be a Pisces as well or you could have that in your chart. But you want a new beginning with this person. You want to close off some type of cycle and open a new one. Yep. And you're willing to work on this with this person. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so in the past, you were defensive. You had your walls up. You were not willing to let this person in there were a lot of fighting you were standing your ground where this person was concerned where the situation is concerned you were standing your ground it's like you were just holding the fort you were you felt wounded and betrayed by this person and you felt like it didn't make any sense putting any more time or effort into this Because it was never going to be a fruit, it was never going to come into fruition. 
But you do see this person as your ten of pentacles. You do this person does bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of stability, uh, a sense of home. This person makes you feel at home within this relationship. It's a feeling like you have never had before with anyone. This person makes you feel so complete. That's why you're questioning this connection. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to jump. You don't want to juggle whether to go or to stay. You know you need to make a decision and it's weighing heavily on your mind. You want reconciliation with this person. For some of you, it could be a Libra you're dealing with. But you want reconciliation with this person. You want this person to open up to you. You want to be able to open up to them. But somebody isn't willing to take what the other is offering. And the universe is about to illuminate this whole situation. Probably for the better. Even though if things doesn't work out for you, Leo, know that it is in your best interest. Yep, you don't want a new beginning, a new stable beginning with this person. Or for some of you, you don't see it to have a new beginning with this person, a stable new beginning. Whew. But for some of you, you feel like there is no reconciliation with this person. So for some of you, this is a past relationship. You believe that this relationship has run its course. There is no coming back from it. There is no celebration. There is no coming home to this person. Hmm. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with or a Libra. But you can't seem to find balance here. Because these both cards are about balance. And one is in the reverse and one is in the upright. So there could be that you are dealing with two people for some of you. Because I do see the three of cups here. But you no longer want to be part of a third party situation. So I think you left the Sagittarius and moved towards the Libra. Or you are trying to find balance with one of these people. Hmm. Okay. For some of you, this is a marriage and you are having an affair and right now you're trying to fix your marriage because you gave up the third party situation. Hmm. But you're not finding the retrospect. You're still keeping an eye on the person that you walked away from and you're holding it close to your chest. And you're lying to someone. It could be to yourself or to one of these people that you are dealing with. But you have dropped all burdens. And you know there is a decision to be made. Two of Cups. Because for some of you, <clears throat> you don't want a third party situation. You do love someone. Okay, so for some of you, a small group of you um, that is dealing with two people, a Sagittarius and a Libra, you saw that uh, the Sagittarius was a burden and you wanted to have a two of cups with the Libra. But I think for some of you, you're still holding on to this person here. It doesn't have to be a Sagittarius, but this person could be a Sagittarius. But for some of you, I'm seeing two people coming up here. Could be a guy because um, it's two feminine energies. Doesn't have to be. Could be a same-sex relationship as well. But one was a burden to you. And you decided to drop the burden and commit to this two of cups. But I feel like for some of you, you're still spying on the person that you dropped. You're holding something close to your chest, a lie of some sort, a secret. 
you want to have communication with a fire sign like I said a Sagittarius Aries or Leo huh to tell them that you really do love them but you're feeling like you have <laughs> this relationship is not going to be reconciled because whatever you did to this person you are afraid that they won't forgive you because you see this person as a very attractive person you love the fire and passion that they come with they make you feel at home they make you feel a sense of calm that you have never felt with anybody else and you are being at some point in time you are you are some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio Pisces cancer but you have finally matured and for some of you you're going to communicate to this fire sign or this fire sign is going to communicate to you because you are a fire sign if you're dealing with another fire sign communication is going to happen and you are finally going to express yourself or they are finally going to express themselves but you or the person you're dealing with is going to feel that the timing is off between the both of you you are going to feel that the timing is so off or they are going to feel that why are you saying this to me now <laughs> yep but you do you both do share a definite you you both love one another deeply you both love each other deeply because i have the king and the queen of cups here Whew, okay for some of you it could be a water sign you're dealing with but this is a definite soulmate connection there is a lot of love here between you and your person and somebody is willing to finally put in the work but for some of you the marriage has to be dissolved first hmm. we have the king and queen of cups we have the king and queen of wands so for a lot of you this could be another fire sign or it could be a water sign or the fire sign you're dealing with loves you very much and the feeling is reciprocated because this is the king and the queen these people are mature enough to know how much or how far to push your situation you both see each other as charismatic people you find them to be attractive or handsome they find you to be attractive or handsome but for some of you a small group of you one of these people are married it could be you leo or the person you're dealing with but somebody is married here and uh, i think someone wants to get out of a, a, a marriage but the tower in the reverse means it's not a surprise could be an Aries you're dealing with as well but somebody is ready to take charge Ooh, okay somebody is ready to take charge of the situation to stop the deception and lies and whatever else is happening and offer a couple of hmm. all right so let me see if I could get a overall outcome because somebody is ready to have a brand new beginning in love because they can no longer deny their feelings could be both of you could be one of you but somebody can no longer deny how they feel Ooh, could have something to do with that air sign gemini libra or aquarius but this person doesn't want to cut you out can be a Capricorn you're dealing with for some of you but they are finally coming out of that obsessive controlling toxic way and they're ready for a transformation with you because they know they can't just come back to you and have a victory they have to show you that they have changed they want to rush into you to offer you love but they're scared because they're gonna have to tell the truth about hurting you because you are definitely ready to move to the other level of your own life being independent self-sufficient 
but I think somebody is about to reach out to talk about the heartbreak and the soul connection you all had felt for one another and somebody is waiting for somebody to offer something stable somebody is about to send a message of love looking for clarity because hmm, this is a kind of weird reading Leo sorry to say but your last card is the Ten of Cups, so you are going to have your Ten of Cups with this person. It may take some time because there is a lot of stuff happening here. For some of you that this is a marriage that needs to be dissolved or will be dissolved, this person is definitely coming to this closure. So if it's you, Leo, you are coming to the closure of this specific commitment you had because this person that I believe for most of you this was a third party situation you realize that the person you're married to is not the person that is your ten of cups but for some of you you are going to choose your wife or your home knowing fully well that the other person is the one that makes you feel that way Alright, that is what I have for you guys. You all would know how this situation totally <clears throat> is. Leave a comment in the comments below. Um, and for those of you that would like a personal reading, check the description box. Have a good weekend, Leo.